What's going on guys? Winner Kills here. Welcome back to another post commentary duel video. So I literally just got back uh, from my local car shop. We we're gonna have locals, but we decided to turn it into a testing uh, extravaganza uh, where most of us played the uh, new list, which doesn't go into effect till June 12th. Um, I was gonna play like a Mermel Zoo variant, but then I put together just a regular Kaiju Zoo build, and I'm like, why the hell did I even bother playing Mermel Zoo? Um, the, the pure build is still disgusting. And the funny thing is, yes, I am still playing the one Terra Top and one Take Tomborg. Um, because the risk does not outweigh the reward, in my opinion. Um, at worst, you draw into the one dead card. At best, you draw into an amazing three monster board off of one Terra Top. So, like, you can't convince me to not play Terra Top and Take Tomborg right now. Um... I will probably play the Predator Plant engine. I, I do plan to order the Brilliant Fusion engine uh, and try that out because the Predator Plant engine nets you that Brilliant Fusion play, and then you get back your normal summon with the Brilliant Fusion play, uh, and it allows you to play stuff like Trick Clown and stuff. So, pretty cool, and I definitely want to try it. Um, but there is a decent combo that basically allows you to just go your standard Emerald Dryden uh, turn one, and it's very easy to pull off. It, it was a combo that was available even when Norden was legal. Um, but yeah, I'm playing against my friend here. He was playing Blue Eyes. Um, I figured, you know what? Why not get a match of this? It's been a while since you guys have probably seen Blue Eyes on the channel. Been a while since we've been able to play against my good friend here on the right. Um, avid Blue Eyes player, even to this day. Always has been and always probably will be. Um, but yeah, first turn, end with Giant Emerald, no problem. Uh... I have Max C in hand, and you're, you're going to see something very interesting happen here. I arguably should have activated it right on the, the res resolution of that melody. That's usually what I always do against Blue Eyes players, but Lydia's been so long against I played against Blue Eyes that I just forgot that aspect of it. So I'm like, oh, now I need to... <laughs> now I need to actually, um, you know, use this in a different, a different position. So I decided to use it on the Silver Scry. He goes to banish the D-Barrier, I chain it, and I call uh, Synchro, when I should have called Ixies. Um, I don't know why I had to worry about my Ixies being negated. Um, it literally would have put me in such a better position, but I was under max C. And I didn't think he was about to do what he was going to do. Uh, and I know my D-Barrier isn't banished, but it will be soon enough, so don't worry about it. Uh, he soul charges now, and I'm drawing even more and more cards, and this is getting way out of hand. There's an infinity on the board. He can make rank eights. I definitely should have called it. I don't know why I didn't. Like I literally just got back from my card shop after uh, like I'm editing this the same day that I, I recorded it, which rarely happens. Um, but I guess it's because there's some stuff I want to reflect on. Uh, there's definitely a few misplays that I made, um, and this is like my first time sitting down to play. Uh, pure zoo and like actually test it because I haven't had actually a chance to test pure zoo um, Like sit down and test for a decent amount of time uh, And then he goes into dark matter, so I banish I don't think I end up banishing gamma seal. I think I banished something else I think I banished whip tail and something else But uh, it doesn't really matter too much. I'm still netting more than enough draws um, and the reason I put that card back in the top of my deck because he does take back a special summon So I just instead of arguing about it not even worth it um, I just put it back and then draw a different card off of a different summon which he does summon right there the last blue eyes there in the end phase But surprisingly enough, I, I have three tankies in hand Luckily, I have two kaijus to be able to get rid of the infinity because that would have been a big issue Possibly a game under even with all the cards in my hand because I think I have like three twin twister and three tanky in my hand, so you can imagine how useless they are. Um, but basically, I'll try to explain real quick while I'm trying to sort out what I'm going to do with this play here. Uh, and how the new, not really new zoo combo works, but like how you just do it in general. Start by getting a rat on board uh, via normal summon or invoker or, um, you know, off a of barrage. Preferably you want to do it off a normal summon so you can send Ram Ram, but technically if you open a Ram Ram or you draw, uh, like, if, you, if you're able to special the rat off of, like, a Barrage or off of Invoker, 
and you have like a uh, thoroughblade in hand, it really doesn't matter. But for for convenience sake, we'll just say you normal summon. You send Ram Ram, and then you overlay. Uh, or yeah, you normal summon send Ram Ram, special summon a rat, and then you search uh, any beast warrior you want. Uh, it could be the uh, whip tail, whatever, doesn't matter. Um, and then you would uh, go into Leica, Leica revive the Ram Ram, and then go into Dryant. We'll go into like a Tiger Martyr, then a Dryant, some useless XCs that you don't really need at the moment. Uh, pop your own Ram Ram, and then summon out another rat from Grave. And there you go, you have a Dryant and an Emerald on board, turn one or Dryant and other rank four. It doesn't have to be Emerald always, but you get a draw off that. And if you throw a blade in that turn as well, you can get an extra draw. So it's pretty cool. And here I have to go for Soul Charge. Soul Charge is a card that I'm now playing because it kind of like takes up a slot as an Instant Fusion. Although I still kind of want to play Instant Fusion. Not, I know that Norn's not, you know, around. That doesn't affect my decision whether or not I want to play it because there's still other Instant Fusionable targets like Carbonola Warrior, Rare Fish, that in certain situations it'd just be nice to give you another level 4 body on board. Whether or not it's bringing something back from the grave doesn't really matter too much. Castell to get rid of the Dark Matter because I don't want him attacking my entire field with the uh, Dark Matter and I need to get rid of his Cypher Dragon or else he's just going to steal my stuff and make Ixie's monsters with it. Especially with the uh, Dark Matter I just put back in his deck. He can also make full armor and stuff like that. So I have to dry and pop the, the Cypher Dragon and I leave him with that field. I can't attack obviously but during his next turn I obviously have to get rid of one of the blue eyes, and thankfully he doesn't have uh, Return of the Dragon Lords engrave, um, you know, to protect it. He's not able to go into a rank eight, which is what I wanted to keep him from doing. And the strike is going to stop that stone from adding something back to his hand. Um, I definitely think I overextended on the soul charge play there. I don't think I needed to do uh, summon a lot of things that I did summon, because um, like I don't use the Ixies like the correct way. That I always should. I don't always use Tiger Martyr like how I should, like you know, to save myself from going into another Xyz monster and stuff like that. Um, which you'll see later, I think. I kind of make a little goof. Um, but right now it's like a weird position I'm in. I've got this Blue Eyes on board, and I've got this Jizakiro. I can go into Whip Tail, go into Leica. Maybe not. Yeah, right here is like weird. I think this is where I go into Leica and revive a Dryden or something. Yeah, I go into Borbo and uh, yeah, Borbo, and then I go into Leica, then I or no Broadbow, and then I search Ram Ram, which I don't know know why I did that. I should have searched Whip Tail. And then overlaid something over top of it, and then gone into Dryant. Dryant pops the the kaiju on his field, and then I run over the blue eyes. But instead, I do this. And also keep in mind, I was like talking with some of my other friends this time, so I wasn't entirely paying attention. Which is, I mean, it's still entirely my fault for not making the best plays. But like, at least I'm able to to recognize it. And I already feel as I'm in a winning position, so it, it didn't really bother me too much that I didn't make the best play, but. Simply making a Dryden right there would have been so much better, because now I'm just stuck with this awkward Dryden on my field. Um, yeah, I don't... And especially with the tankies I, I would have had, I, I wouldn't even need to, to pop the, the Kamungus. I would have been able to beat over it for 200 and banish it, and I would have been in a much better spot. Unless I didn't have a Dryden in my extra deck, which, then again, I don't think I did, so maybe I'm wrong. But then again, with the tankies, the... The Dryden would have not have been needed because I would have had the extra damage to get over the Kamungus. Um, so I guess that's something I'm noticing. But then, yeah, because this is a really late game. That my body coming in his clutch to, to destroy the... Try and destroy uh, the alternative. But he'll have the, the Dragon Lords Grave to get rid of the uh, destruction effect. And luckily... Luckily, I'm able to get rid of that uh, Dragon Lords then and there because that would have probably been a lot more problematic later on. Um, and I attack over 300. I decide not to overextend. I've got the Ram Ram set, and I'm just going to you know, just play it out. I've got a beat stick on board that he can't really deal with right now, so 
we roll with the punches and Twin Twister hits his set warning and we attack for the 30th render for game because I think he had like 2100 or something left at that point. So game two, he's going to opt to go first. Um, and opening with Dragon Shrine and Pot of Desires. So very consistent. But the thing is like, Zoo right now is even post list, like no Norden, no Fusion subplay, no Instant Fusion. Like the deck is still very consistent. Um, and you guys don't get to see it in this video. I don't open the one of Terror Top. I don't open either of them, but I still open like Barrage and Tankies and it's just stupid still. And I'm so glad it's still like a decent deck to play because it's the only deck I really have to play. Um, and uh, I still have Mermails, but meta relevant deck, I would say. Um, but I, I was literally playing against my friend who was sitting to my left in this video. He was playing Pendulums. Missing some of the newer support, newer Pendulum stuff that's not out yet. Um, but he was playing Pendulums like 3 Wizard Mind stuff and Magic Specters. And having a very, I was having a very easy time beating him. And I opened um, I opened the 1 of Terror Top like 3 times. And uh, it was just interesting. Because he's like, oh, you're not really playing the Terror Top, are you? I'm like, yeah, I am. Just because I don't have the bread plan shit, so I'm going to play it and see what happens, and I opened it up more than I thought I, I would. Uh, and the one time I did open the Take Tom Borg, but then I drew it for turn and drew the Terror Top. It was very weird. Um, so this is where I make a rather stupid play. Uh, so I have a normal summon. I was able to get uh, bait out the warning with the, the Slumber. Barrage comes in clutch. Uh, and I normal summon the Ram Ram. So right now, I could technically just go into Dryden and not pop my own Ram Ram to do the play. I just guess I kind of wanted to do that for some reason. Um, luckily, he banished his other Galaxy Soldier off his desires. That's why I didn't go for the Infinity play. If he would have had the Infinity play, I would have been in a much worse position. Because um, then he would have had two stops instead of just the one warning. Uh, but literally, I could have just, instead of popping my Ram, I could just normal the Ram Ram, made Emerald, made Dryden, end of story. Um, maybe made a Broad Bowl and searched something different, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, that was a very weird play right there that I made. And I think I do something a little later on, I kind of goof, goof up a bit as well. It's nice to be able to just kind of sit here and critique me, because I know you guys are probably going to point out other stuff as well, but it is what it is. Uh, he uses alternative there to destroy my giant, so I chain in response to destroy his alternative. He summons another one. I have two two set twin twisters right now, so you can imagine how clutch they're they're coming in. Uh, and then he's gonna use sage to tribute away his soldier to summon out uh, spirit dragon, and he's gonna hit the twin twister. Not really too concerned about that. I've got a ghost ogre in hand. Uh, I could have ghost ogred it, but I, I kind of want to save it in case he goes into an Ixies monster. If he goes into Dark Matter, that'd be very good to get that off the field. Because um, I wasn't worried about losing a Twin Twister at all, so I just decided to keep the Ghost Ogre in hand and take a little bit of extra damage. He's going to go into a Rank 8 here. I was kind of hoping he'd go into something that wasn't number 38, which I think he ends up going into, which, you know, arguably isn't a bad call uh, in sort of a top decking situation. But I was kind of hoping he'd go for, like, a Dark Matter play. Uh, to try to net some more advantage Maybe go for the greedier play, but he kind of goes for the safe play. So good for him Goes for the 38 and Passes and then I drop the kaiju on it. Luckily. I had that in my hand for a couple turns and then a normal whip tail and I'm not sure what zoo options I have but I go into Leica and then broad bull search that whip tail and I do play Zodiac combo. I do play it. It's just like a lot of the times when I normal summon my rat, I'm not sending the combo. Uh, I'm usually sending Ram Ram unless I already have my hand. Then in that case, I would send it. Um, able to special on the Jizakiro in hand, coming in super clutch. I decided to not equip the second Whip Tail to my Dryden because in case he has like a board wipe or something, I want to be able to recover next turn and be able to go into a Zodiac Xyz with that Whip Tail that I have in my hand. So not trying to be too greedy. He's got the Return of the Dragon Lords right there. And he goes into the alternative. And right now I'm kind of debating whether or not I want to force out the Dragon Lords immediately. I have a Ghost Ogre in hand still. Uh, but I don't want to lose two cards to his one, especially since this is going to stay on the board. Um, 
But he goes to he goes to pop the Jizakura actually, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Um, arguably, I should have just let him. That's another mistake, probably right there. I should have just let him destroy the Jizakiru. But luckily, I've got the uh, the Zodiac Rat here coming in clutch this turn. Normal summon that to be able to send the uh, combo to the graveyard, uh, which I can't use this turn because it was just sent. But I can use it later. And grabbing another Whip Tail. Because I don't know if I still have the other one in hand. Uh, looks like I do. But I've already normal summoned, and I don't really need to waste the Dryden't effect on the the alternative. But I do anyways. Um, I guess I don't need to waste the Dryden effect. It's the fact that I don't need to equip the Whip Tail. I could have just popped it and it swung for 12 and not been greedy, but... Either way, it gets the job done. He's normal summoning Sage. Gets a search a level 1 light tuner. Um, not too big of a deal. Not really concerned about popping it. Really don't know if it would have been best to, but I don't, I don't think it would have. But No threat. And I think he just ends up passing right there anyways out of lack of card advantage. Uh, I could have used my... Um, combo there but I decided just to save it for next turn anyways normal summon thoroughblade discard whip tail draw and then I'm going to get another draw off of the uh, zoo combo here putting back three extra deck monsters and a rat and a whip tail uh, back into the deck to get a free draw and I draw and do like a d barrier the d barriers were just we didn't side so I just had the d barriers d barriers like a hit or miss against his deck he's either going to go synchro he's going to go exceeds um so Right there, this is the this is another mistake I think I made. Uh, I should have just made Tiger Mortar and equip something to the Broad Bull over there and then detach the search instead of wasting another Broad Bull. Um, that was a mistake I made. But right here, it, the, the game is about to be over anyways, so it doesn't matter too much. So I will take the victory there, 2-0 against Blue Eyes with New Zoo, New Age Zodiac post uh, e banless post January 12th, 2017 banless, whatever you want to call it. Still alive and well, just a little bit slower, not getting that extra draw, not that top deck of rank 4 power with instant fusion. Honestly, I don't miss it too much. I actually like the newer version a little bit better, because it forces you to think a little bit more. Um, and I'm definitely looking forward to getting to learn the deck a lot better uh, as I get to play it uh, here over the next few months. So, should be fun. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Uh, and as always, guys, I'm going to kill a sign out. We'll see you in the next one.